Hello, this is Richie from PlayStationCountry.com and today we're taking a look at Super Exploding Zoo on the PlayStation 4. So this game's good. Now I have to say that because you'll be looking at the footage right now and thinking, well, it doesn't look very good. It looks like a bit of an indie thing. It looks like it'd probably run pretty comfortably on a tablet. It is a PlayStation Plus offering and there's usually a fair smattering of these kind of low demand kind of indie titles on that service. So it could put a lot of people off but yes this is a good game so this is a puzzle game and the idea is that you use these animals to find ways to get to other sleeping animals keep building up your horde and these animals all have individual abilities such as being able to climb over walls or press switches that kind of thing but also they can all do damage on these black alien things so those early levels are all just about waking up your animals and then using them to hurt the aliens as they come. But then later on you get introduced to this mode which is the tactical view. And um, here you can send individual animals out to do different tasks. So you can send, say for example, one of your lower level animals to go and, you know, break down a wall. Send another one to go and wake up some animals. Send your heavy hitters to go and take out some aliens before they get too close to the egg. And it's really, really good. It freezes time when you do it, so you do get a bit of a chance to take a breath and plan everything out. But equally, you need to kind of be on point because there's some really important tactical decisions to be made on every level. And it's really once this mode is uh, utilised that the game just becomes a hell of a lot better than you might expect. I mean, you can really, really sort of spend ages planning things out and the levels do get pretty tricky, so you will end up playing one for maybe as long as half an hour maybe longer but it's never so difficult that it's a massive chore and there's usually a big margin for error it's not like you've got to use every available hit point perfectly i mean there's one trophy for doing that but for generally just getting through the levels you don't have to do that so yeah whilst it's a shame that the presentation isn't as spectacular as it could be and that comes down to both the graphics and the music which is just a bunch of like really short loops there is something that's at least kind of cute about the game and is just very enjoyable and that really just comes down to the really great level design so there's 80 stages which provides good value for money especially if you got it free and it's month of release so while some gamers may moan that Sony aren't giving us AAA retail titles every month for everyone with a brain it will definitely get a good taxing with this game so check it out and check us out on playstationcountry.com or we will lay our foul legs in your mouth bye bye